Breaking news, Nigerians. Kanu state is shut down. Protests in the state as residents. The NNPP supporters reject tribunal judgment, which sacked Governor Yusuf Abba. The three-man panel, led by Justice Uluyemi Akinta, further withdrew the certificate of return the Independent National Electoral Commission presented to Yusuf. Some residents of Kanu states on Friday protested against the judgment of the election petition tribunal which sacked Governor Yusuf Abba as winner of the 2023 gubernatorial poll in the state. The Kanu State Governorship Election Petitions Tribunal had on Wednesday sacked Abba and declared the All Progressive Congress APC candidate Nasser Gauna the winner of the March 18th governorship poll. The three-man panel led by Justice Uluyemi further withdrew the certificate of return the Independent National Electoral Commission presented to Yusuf. Stating reasons why the Kanu governor was sacked, the panel said the margin of vote scored by the NNPP was invalid and not in compliance with the 2022 Electoral Act. So the judges deducted 165,663 votes from the NNPP, adding that the ballot papers of 165,663 were not stamped or signed and therefore declared invalid. Hmm. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, had declared that the NNPP pulled 1 million, 19, 1 million, 19,602 votes to defeat the APC, whose candidates scored 890,705 votes. The NNPP candidate thus won with a margin of 128,897 votes. The state government immediately declared a 24 curfew in the state to avoid a breakdown of law and order following the judgment. However, on Friday, residents of the state and members of the new Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, trooped out a mass to vent their anger against the judgment, accusing the tribunal of injustice. Armed with play cards with various inscriptions such as Gandola, leave the judiciary alone, the people of Kano demanded demand justice. It is Abba that we want, and among others, the protesters called for a review of the judgment. They added that they would not accept any form of injustice from anybody. We voted for Haba, not any other person. Therefore, nobody should ever think of going against our will, they said. Hmm. Their state, their governor, their courts, and their martyr waiting consign me. The judiciary, APC, and INEC wanted to use Kanu State to test how Nigerians will react and handle the possible protest if the Supreme Court confirms the presidential election petition tribunal judgment. This is what APC and Amy Loco want to cause in Nigeria. For this country, hand would touch everybody. I am still wondering how it will be for the Kanu governor if Supreme Court eventually sacks him. Election is not conducted on social media and count. It's not delivered judgment on the street. There, therefore, go to court. They should withdraw the appeal and work with APC candidates, just as they advise Peter will be. Okay, oh, PVC is waste. No this and no peace. Their protest is useless. Even Supreme Court will sack him and heaven does not fall. But they accepted tribunal judgment in the presidential election. Injustice in a state is injustice everywhere. It will take time, but we surely get to everyone. 
They shall stop this. They should stop disturbing the peace of the country. Hey, this is what happened when Aboki is being trying to civilize or rather introduce to technology. Why are they protesting? The Northerners always support evil till evil hang on their neck. NNPP to Labour Party in 2023 election. They will labor in vain. September 22nd, 2023, NNPP is protesting over laboring in vain. Kwan Kwasu, my advice to them is the same advice they gave you give to Peter B. They should withdraw the appeal and work with APC for the good people of Kano. Hmm. Red cap or true. The person that sold this cap to, to, to these supporters of Kwanquasuya is in money. Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. Anyway, um, majority of the Kano people are actually inventing their anger on the tribunal. They said nobody should force any person on them. This is the person we voted for. So why are you giving us something else? And this will not work. For goodness sake, for how long are we going to continue like this in Nigeria? That people will do the voting Why the court decide who wins. This, this is a very big problem Nigeria is facing right now. And this is going to, you know, it, it will have a long way, you know. It will have a very big big consequences on the Nigeria, you know, um, politics or democracy or whatever, you understand? When people say, this is what I want, and they will ask you to go to court and uh, let the court decide. So in Nigeria now, the judges decide who wins and who goes. What a pity. Well, they will go to the Supreme Court and someone, somebody says something there, the, 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 the Supreme Court will still sack him and nothing happens. You see, Nigerians are now aware of all this. Even before they go talk, even before the judges go talk, they don't already know what they want to do. It's a pity that we have found ourselves here. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget.